Hello, this is Christobar, and this is a video, kind of a, a video series that I've been actually wanting to start ever since I've been, uh, like, the first week that I started filming videos, well, geez, last year, whatever, June, July last year, um, this is episode zero, so it's kind of like, it's going to be more of explaining, and I'll get into more, more, uh, yeah, cards and stuff like that, like I'm going to be sorting some cards or whatever, but what it is, is I'm going to be putting my collection together, because my collection right now is in really, really chaos, because I haven't had time to, you know, sit down and put everything in order, like, you know, like a normal person, so, um, this right here, I got this, oh geez, a few weeks ago at my LCS. It's a very nice sorting sorting table thingy. So whenever you're done for the day or whatever, you can like transport or whatever. has all kinds of different slots. And then, you know, you can put, you know, piles of cards here and then, you know, sort here, sorting areas. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to use this today. I'm going to start... I'm going to use this whenever it's time to actually break down the the different series of cards. Right now, I just want to uh, put the cards together that go together. You know, like the Fairfield boxes, all the Fairfield boxes that I opened that have like, uh, geez, whatever, five, five or ten or twenty different packs in them or whatever, or four different packs in them of all different cards. Well, those cards were stacked and stacked, so I have to go go through and, you know, sort those out into, you know, what do I have? How many of what year of what do I have? That's what I need to do. So, I don't, I don't think this is going to handle that because I have so many different, so many different uh, series of cards. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this later on when it comes to different sorting. Like sorting the like a couple different series at a time or something like that maybe or maybe if i go by sort by teams and stuff anyways in between like i'll do like a little pile like you know a little pile like this sorted out or whatnot and then after each little pile i'll go ahead and show you uh, a couple hits that i've gotten or a couple really really good cards that i've gotten in the past however however long could be way before I started filming YouTube videos. It could be whatever could have been in a bit in a YouTube video. So hopefully this will go okay. My plan is to have these like on the weekend, but since today was a snow day and all, I figured I'd go ahead and do a episode zero of this and just put it out there or whatever. And the goal is to either have an episode of this either Saturday or Sunday, you know, just hang out. And eventually, if I ever learn how to do it correctly so that I can, like, read everybody's comments and stuff, my original plan was to go live, like, do this live and stuff, you know, ha like, hang out and sort my cars and stuff and and shoot the shoot the jet. So, without further ado, here we, here we go. So, we have a, uh, see this here? So this is a, uh, geez, 16 Bowman. And then see this, 16 Chrome. <laughs> so yes, a little bit of difference. And then, so these are 16 Chrome. All right. So I'll start these piles over here. And then see these 15 tops, 2015 tops. I'll just go through here. I'm not gonna show you all the cards are caught, all the cards. You can just see what I got here. See, that was a pack there. This must have been a some sort of fair, Fairfield box or something. There's a 2016 tops. Yep, 2016. And in 2010, nope, 2011. Oops, 
See that? Get one in there. See, that's a 2013. That's weird. Man. Sorting the cards. This is 2012. Man, that's going to be hard. <laughs> so that's 12. This is this is also 2012. Man. Nope. This is 13. This is 12. Okay. That's 15. This is 16. I'll put them in order so I can remember what year is what. Because <laughs> that's the way it's going to work. Holy moly. Chewy. See what I mean? How I have to sort this stuff out like this. So these are actual 1988 cards. 1988 cards. And I'll put it like that so that, because I'll know what the kind of card is from just seeing that. And then, oh geez, 1992. <laughs> Don Russ, I'll put him way over there. And 04. Wow. And some Dunras. See, look at this. These are all different. A stadium club. I have a stadium club pile over here. Man. I think I'm going to just go through this later on. That's weird. Holy moly. Here's some more of these. At least. From the 2015, there we go. Put them there. So this is 90. See how intertwined my cards are? Here's 91. <laughs> then Don Russ. And there's that one. That one goes there. Huh. Flare 97. Studio 91. Apologize in advance if my if the cards aren't in the camera. I'm trying to see what what's going on here with all these. Holy moly. So there's these infamous ones. And I'll probably put these small piles in that in this uh sorter for later on. And then when I go to sort again and I'll go ahead and add add to that as they're there because these are like man oh look john smoltz that's an old one huh that's his rookie card john smoltz rookie card huh. probably worth like not even maybe a quarter because <laughs> they're mass produced back in back in the 80s or whatnot late 80s it's such a shame but it was a joy to uh it was a real, real joy to be able to uh, purchase baseball cards at any, you know, grocery store and gas station or whatnot. It was awesome as far as that's concerned. I'm just going to make a pot right here of these oddball ones. I, I know I'm not going to have have very many of them. I'm just going to make an oddball pile away over there. See how these things sort of geez. Ridiculous. So that's 90, 92. Jeez. That's a 93 stadium club. <laughs> put that in the oddball one, put that over there. That one in the oddball pile. And then, okay. So here's some cards. Oh yeah, I got uh, my supplies are all ready here. I have uh, all kinds of you know, uh, penny sleeves for numbered cards or whatnot, and then uh, thick card sleeves. And that that tray at my LCS. I don't know if I said how much it was. I, it was six bucks at my LCS. Six dollars. So that's not too bad. It's like holy moly, pretty cheap. So I got my regular top loaders here. 
all different sizes, top loaders, for, you know, big little cars, because I got to sleeve them up and get them all taken care of and all that. So, let's take some of these off here, all right, so, so this is from 19, I mean, yeah, 2017, these two cards here, from, uh, yeah, the, uh, you know, the silver packs from 2017. Yeah. Mark McGuire and Corey Seager. Pretty cool. I think I'm going to go ahead and top load these up. Tight. See, I don't like that. It's too tight for that. So, I'll figure something out. Then there's that. <laughs> Rookie Performers. Go fit in there. some stuff uh Odubo Herrera chrome card well I don't know why oh huh is that just regular chrome must have been from somebody mailing me that <laughs> so I'm gonna put these here put these back here to top load leader on carefully and here's what uh pulled out of Top Spire Luke Weaver rookie card. Pretty cool. Let's see if a thick sleeve will fit on him. Right. Here we go. I'll try not to make these too long. Oh, cool. Fits right on there perfectly. And I'll need a little bit bigger one. So I have this one here. This is the 3.5 millimeter, I guess they call it. It's right in there. Because those uh, regular ones are too, way too big. So I'll put them up there. I might tape some up. Like this here. There's Kenta Maeda from Tops Fire. That one's the, yeah, numbered 97 out of 99. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, uh, from Inception, Chris Anderson. I think, I think I got this from one of those uh, shark shark boxes, like the big shark or whatever you call it. Pretty, pretty cool. You get like so many packs, and it's it's a uh, half hobby and half retail, and you get guaranteed hits in it, stuff like that. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice product. I don't know why I haven't gotten it in a while. I think I just gave it a break or whatever to open up other stuff. I might get some more shark shark boxes sometime. Let's see here. Got another, oh, stuck together. I have to get some more of this size because this seems to be the good size. I kind of need one that's in between this and regular because regular is like too thin. It's like for regular cards you want to see, but then this is a little too thick for, you know, regular mem cards or whatnot. So now I have this Michael Franco refractor. I think I also got that from the shark box as well. One of the shark boxes. Good old Michael Franco. All right, there he is. Put him up there, all right. So now I have this here stack. This was, geez, one of my first videos I made was this because I let this be the picture of the video is this guy here that I pulled or whatever. Back when I didn't have any clue of what I was doing or whatever, I just picked out a thumbnail or whatnot so these are all 2017 
Series 2. 2017 Series 2, that's right. So I started opening Series 2 boxes. Let's put that up there. This doesn't need... Well, I guess so, because this is a actual 1977 card of Mike Quayar. Or Qu Quayar? Quayar? That's the way they pronounce it on TV anyways. Quayar. Pretty cool. Just like sleeve them up. I'll put them over here on the sleeve pile. And then from the box of hobby hobby box of chrome I opened, I received this uh, Justin Verlander regular chrome Justin Verlander print plate. It was like one of the best, one of the best at the time, or the best at the time pulled that I've I ever pulled at that time before I pulled all the other goodies in the past year. So it was pretty pretty nice, pretty pretty nice. All right, let's see here. Got another stack of cards here. I'll try to wrap, I'll probably wrap this up after 20 minutes. So, see, and then once I sort all the different brands or, or series of cards I have, I'll go ahead and sort them by inserts and numbered cards. And, and then finally, I'll probably, I'm not sure if I'll put them in order. I usually put them, like, put them in order according to number, but... I'm not, I'm still not sure I might put them by team this time so that, uh, for care package purposes and stuff like that. So there's Aaron Judge, 35th anniversary card. Nice. And this is the update series. Update series. Yeah. Regular, regular update series. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that one. Put him in a top loader too. This card might be pretty valuable. All right. All right. Let's see here. Update series. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Gold card. I'll just leave it there. Huh. Rick Sarone card. From 1978, actual 1978 card. Huh, it's pretty cool. Silver tops. So these are all yeah, update series. Yeah, there's another of those. All right. Apologize if this video seems pretty horrible. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I need to, I don't know. Switch my camera up, or I don't know, do a little different setup. Who knows? <laughs> but I only do this on the weekends and stuff. This is episode zero. Of course, whenever it'll get better as time goes on, as with everything else. Let's see here. So I have this Jarrell Cotton Auto from Top Spire. Rookie card. All right. And then from Stars and Stripes, Grant Green, number 422 out of 700. Oh, let me see if this is numbered. Yeah, this is numbered as well. The 94 out of 500. Pretty cool. And this is out of the USA Baseball Champions. Stars and Stripes, 422 out of 700. Pretty cool. Not sure why Scotch Tape is on there. That might be something I got out of a one of those boxes or something. Okay, let's see here. Alright, last stack. So I have all these fire cards here. Fire cards, fire cards, yeah. Lots of fire cards. These must be from the rack packs because the rack packs had the blue. That's pretty cool. Must be the oh that lets up there. Okay, so put the top fire there. And there's one of these. Oh, what is this? 2015 says that. This is a whole pack. I just put on those at the bottom of there for some reason. Alright. So it goes up there. 
Okay. And this is a beam team card of Carl, Kyle Schwarber. Pretty cool. I think these average, I'm not sure. One per box, I believe. One per hobby box is these be were these beam teams. The uh yeah, Stadium Club, 2017 Stadium Club. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, there you go. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, like I said, it'll get better. I just started out. I really, really need to put my collection together. Um, I'll probably work on it a little bit after this. Um, but hopefully this weekend I'll make another video and show you some more hits and sort some more cards. And then after that... Uh, <laughs> few more weeks i don't know hopefully learn how to go live and i'll do it live do it live all right well see you later